Namaste, good evening, and welcome to Chitta Media and the Festival of Bharat. I'm Sharan Sethi, your host. Today we are joined by a very special guest, Mr. Tenzin uh, Sanju. He's a poet, a writer, a Tibetan refugee, and an activist, and he has an amazing story to tell. And he's stood up for the cause of free Tibet uh, ever since his childhood. And he's been writing about it. He's been speaking about it, and uh, he's trying his best. to contribute his part to this particular movement uh so thank you so much for joining us it's a real pleasure to have you here namaste and how are you first of all good um thank you uh tashi dilek namaste uh yeah i'm speaking from dharamshala i've just returned from a big speaking tour in the himalayas and i'm um, happy to join you on this discussion today right first of all for our viewers who may not be aware can you tell us about how your journey actually began and what it is uh, to be a tibetan in india for that matter well uh, yeah um, i'm actually born in india and um, so therefore i am as indian uh, as anybody can be here right. in this country um, but my twist in the story is that my parents came from tibet and uh, that was the time when his holiness the dalai lama and number of other tibetan refugees uh, escaped uh, tibet and had to come to india because china invaded and occupied tibet and uh, since 1959 onwards almost about 100000 tibetans uh, they have been living uh, here in india uh, and also we have set up tibetan government in exile here in dharamshala in uh in in himachal pradesh state uh, so this is how we have been uh, running our exile government and also our freedom struggle based in dharamshala but now there are tibetan community uh, all around the world especially in europe in america and australia and different other countries so almost about 1 lakh 50000 tibetans 150000 tibetans live outside um, tibet and we are running our freedom movement as refugees or all also as uh, citizens of different other countries but essentially we are all tibetans and we right. uh, work for the independence of tibet right and how do you see the treatment of uh, tibet uh, especially with the rise of xi jinping and uh, the uh, ccp right so obviously there has been different kinds of treatment that has been meted out to the tibetan communities and i think it's become really worse in recent times would you agree so xi jinping's uh, dictatorial regime that he has uh, started to reign in from 2012 13 onwards and now he has made himself the president forever in what is called the people's republic of china uh this meteoric uh rise of xi jinping and also you know his personal ambition to be more powerful than mao zedong's position uh, in the uh, you know 19 or 50s 60s or right up to 70s i think this is this is his uh, his personal ambition and also um hoping that uh, that the communist party of china which is the largest uh, political party in the world that he is running uh, there are great uh, personal ambitions and the legacies that he want he wants to leave behind so therefore the kind of dictatorial regime he is running in tibet not just in tibet but uh, china's other occupied countries uh, like east turkestan southern right. mongolia manchuria and um, the the curbing of any sense of freedom within china the chinese people themselves are suffering under xi jinping's uh, yeah. rule and now xi jinping is exporting that kind of um, curbing of, uh, personal freedom and freedoms over media uh, religion culture uh, that kind of homogenization that xi jinping has been trying to maintain within china is what he is exporting to other countries uh, today like in nepal or uh, many countries in africa and south america so you see uh, china is a problem not just for chinese people but also china's occupied countries and also china's neighbors please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit 
सी आई टी टी आई डॉट नेट धन्यवाद नमस्कार